hi everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to create furniture banner in photoshop first we will create a document for the banner i will keep the width 2000 by 2000 and resolution will be 72 and color will be rgb then we will create a new document Now I'm going to unblock this one. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. Now I will apply apply gradient in the rectangle. That's why I will double click on the rectangle. Then go to gradient overlay. Then I'm going to show then I'm going to use this color this color code is 1B2F3A and this color code is 0BA0B4 and this is stylish radio and blend board is normal and we can reduce the scale size i think this one is perfect and angle is 136 then i'm going to click here then i will click by control then i will select these two and group them by pressing ctrl g now i'm going to rename this one background now i'm going to lock this one now i will create a circle that's why i'm going here now i am holding hold and shift together Now I am going to copy this one by pressing Ctrl J. Now I will keep this copy one behind the first one. Now I am going to increase the size of the under one. Now I am going to change the color of it. Now I'm going to use this image. I will give you the PhD file in the des description box. Then you can download it. Now I'm going to click, go to here, edit, and free transfer. Again, I'm going to here and then there and then flip for it and now I'm uh, going to click over this layer then select create clipping mask now I'm going to increase the size of it Now I am going to group them by pressing Ctrl G and name it image. I am going to lock this one. Now I will type here. 
I'm going to use lemon milk font and gifts bold and size will be 72 and color will be yellow. Now I'm go going to copy this text by pressing Alt. Now I'm going to rename this one Furniture. I'm going to use a white color. Again, I'm going to copy this one by pressing Alt. Now I'm going to rename this one Big Sub. Now I will increase the size of it by pressing Ctrl D. It's a shortcut. Now I'm going to align this two by pressing Ctrl then here. Now I am going to draw a rounded rectangle. Mm -hmm. I will use yellow color for this rectangle and move it behind the pixel. I am going to change the pixel color to this one. I am going to select these two by pressing Ctrl. I am going to align this two. I am going to copy this one by pressing Alt key then fill in this one follow us now I am going to draw a circle now I am holding Alt Shift key I'll change the color of it. I'm going to copy this circle by pressing Ctrl G and Ctrl T for transform. I'm going to change the color to yellow. I'm going to copy this one. Rename this one fifty person. I'm going to draw a circle by pressing all shift key and I will run this fill color and give this to color this color code is 0 B A 0 B
going to draw on that circle. Same way. Now I'm going to group this up. Control G for group. Now I'll create another document. 2000 by 2000 and resolution will be 70. Now I'm going to select this all by pressing Ctrl A. Then I am going to click Ctrl Shift C for copy and then Ctrl B for paste. And I am going to select this one by paste transform. Then it is the size of it. I double click on the layer. Then choose gradient overlay. Now I'm going to change the color. This color code is seven two nine C two one. And this color code is seven eight C C two eight. Angle is 136 and it's still straight here. I'm going to use a drop shadow. This distance, distance will be 25 and spread will be 8 and size will be 120. This angle is 120 and blend mode is multiple. I am going to change this color. I am going to copy this by pressing Alt Shift key. I am going to change this color. This is for this tutorial. I hope you guys will like it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe the channel and stay connected. Thank you.